welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to learn react forms so for this i want to create a new project in this react projects folder so to create a new project we have to use the command npx create react app present we are now in hello world project so to go to the react projects folder we have to write cd double dots now we are in react projects folder now we have to create a new project with the command npx create react app npx create react app followed by the application name here our application name is react forms press enter it will start creating a new react application for us it may take around 2 3 minutes you can see here our project is created successfully if you observe the react projects folder now we have a new application with the name react forms so click here to expand it now we have to navigate into this react forms folder because present we are in the react projects so i will write cd react forms now we have to execute it with the command npm start you can see here our project is executed successfully now we will open google chrome and we will run localhost 3000 here you can see this is the default output for any react application now we will edit app.js file in the source folder click on this source folder and select app.js file and here i will remove all the default stuff in the div and i will write the heading as react forms in the h1 text react forms control s here you can see all the default stuff has gone now we have only one h1 text in the output now we are going to create some input fields because in the forms we have to put input fields only first i will create the form tag form afterwards i will write one input field input so here the type is text and i will write the placeholder place holder is equal to username here you can see an input field is created now we need to create a button after clicking that button we have to get the input field value in alert means we are accessing the input field using some techniques in functional component now i will show what technique it is first we have to create a button i will name it as show input value show the input value here you can see we got the button but these are in horizontal direction now we have to get this button at the bottom of the input field i will write the br tag in between the input field and button here you can see now we got the button down first input field afterwards we have the button now we have to implement the hooks concept in this app.js component because we are working in the functional component so for the state management we have to use the hooks concept in functional component and in class component we have to use the state methods this dot state so as i said in the previous lecture only from this video onwards we are going to use only functional components we are not at all using class component because in class components the code is very lengthy i am broiler plate code is very high that's why we are focusing on only functional components so first i will create a hook with username value so here after the function i will create one hook const in the square brackets you have to create a hook with the value username so to change this value you have to write the set method set username we have to initialize it with something i will re initialize it with empty string new state that's it now we have initialized the variable with the username and the set username is the method which is used to change this username value and we have initialized it with empty string now we have to assign this username to the input value now i will show you how to assign it value equal to 
यूजर नेम कंट्रोल एस सो आफ्टर क्लिकिंग दिस बटन वी हैव टू गेट दी वैल्यू ऑफ द इनपुट फील्ड सो आई विल राइट ऑन क्लिक फॉर दिस बटन ऑन क्लिक is equal to we have to execute one function show input i will create this show input in this area function show input in this i will write the alert message in this alert we have to print the input field value so to get this input field value we have to access with this username i will simply write alert username now let's see the output whether it is working or not so i will type something in this input field so i will write javascript here you can see i am typing but there is nothing in the input field because we have to write the on change event for input field in the react js without on change event we cannot create the input fields or forms in the react js keep it in mind for every input field you create in the react js we have to use the on change method it is compulsory so i will write on change in this input value on change so here in the on change you have to change the value of the username so for every change in the input field this on change method will occur so we have to write something in the on change method so i will write equal to operator and i will write the curly braces in this we have to set this method here you can see set username so for every on change method we have to update this set username method with the input value i'll show you how to use it so in this on change method you have to write the arrow function curly braces in that curly braces you have to write the arrow functions parenthesis followed by the arrow afterwards you have to use curly braces again this is the arrow function so it's difficult to understand but you have to listen so in the on change method first you have to write the curly braces in that curly braces you have to write the arrow function this is the syntax of arrow function first you have to write the parenthesis afterwards you have to write the arrow symbol afterwards you have to write the curly braces in these curly braces you have to write the set method set username in the set username you have to write the changed value of the input field so whenever you are adding any new alphabet to the input field this on change method will occur so for every time you add new l new alphabet to the input field we have to update this set username so that's why we will take this on change method as input event so here i will take the parameter as the event or e e simply e here e stands for event so in this e we will get the value of this input field now we will update this set username using this e so i will write the set username as e dot target dot value this is the syntax of input fields in react js functional component so it's very difficult to understand at the understand it the first time but you have to listen it first we will see the output whether it is working or not here i will type something in the username i will write javascript here you can see now the text is coming in the input field because of the on change method java script so after clicking this button we have to get the alert with the message javascript so i will click this button here you can see we got the alert with the message javascript so this is the way to write input fields in react js once again i will explain here we have created a input field in the form element so here the input field type is text and we have write written the placeholder with the value username so in traditional javascript we have to access this input field by document dot get element by id or document dot get element by class etc but in react we, we should not write those things so it's very difficult to access document dot get element by id things like in this react js so we have a special approach with the help of hooks so here we have created a hook with the name variable name username and the method which is used to change this username value is set username here we have assigned this username to the input field so whenever the on change method will occur in the input field we have to update that value using the set username with the help of arrow functions so here this is the way to apply on click on change event in the react js for input fields 
I will create one more input field, then you will understand better. So here I will create the new input field with the name input type is equal to text and placeholder is equal to password. So here for assigning value we have to create a hook with the help of const. So for the password also we have to create the new hook. Const in the square brackets you have to write the variable name password. Afterwards you have to write the method which is used to accept the changes for this password. Set password. Then we need to initialize it with any value. Use state. I want to initialize it with empty value only. Now we have to use this password variable in the password input field. Here we have to use the value as password. So if you write anything in the initialization of this password variable then it will be applied to the input field only because here we are assigning the value as password to this input field. Suppose here I will write the password as Udemy then the input field consists Udemy value. Now let's see the output. Here you can see in the second input field the value is Udemy. So that's why we need to initialize any input field value with empty string only. So I will remove Udemy. Control S. So between these two input fields I will use BR tag. Control S. Now we have two input fields username and password. Now we have to write the on change event for the second input field means password input field. So I will write on change event. On change. So for every on change we have to write the function with the help of arrow functions. So to write the arrow functions we first we have to use the parenthesis. Afterwards we have to use the arrow symbol followed by the curly braces. So this is mandatory in input fields for the functional components with the help of hooks. So to get the value of the input field we have to use the event in this parenthesis E. Now we have to use the set password method. Set password. Set password and we have to update the value by E dot target dot password. That's it. Now for this on click method we have to alert the password now. Before we have alert the username now we have to change it to the password. I will alert the password. Control S. Now we will see the output. So whatever the text I will write in the password that should be written in the alert dialog. So I will write the password as Udemy. Now I will click the button. Here you can see we got the output undefined there is something mistake in the code. Let's find out. So let's see the error in the input field. Input type is equal to text, placeholder is equal to password, value is equal to password. In the on change method we have written the arrow functions. So to update we have to return the set password e.target.value. So instead of value I have written the password that's why it is raising error. So here we have to write the value because we want to print the value of this password. That's why we have to write e.target.value. Now let's see the output. Here I will write the password as Udemy. Now I will click the button. Here you can see we got the output Udemy. So like this way we can perform the form handling means we can get the input values using the functional components with the help of hooks. Thank you. In the next video we are going to learn about the submit event means form submit event. Welcome back guys. In the last lecture we have discussed about how to get the input values using the hooks in functional components. Now in this video we are going to learn how to submit the form to the browser. Means after submitting form you have to get all the values of that respective input fields in the forms. So here I have removed all the stuff in the yesterday's class. So here we have only one h1 text with the value react forms. Let's see the output. We can see here we have only one h1 text with the value react forms. Now let's create a form with some input fields. First I will create the form. Yeah. 
in this i will create the student registration input field first the student should have a name i will write the placeholder equal to name and value is equal to name afterwards we will write the on change for all the input fields first we have to write only input fields so br tag now we have to write the second input field input type is equal to text and placeholder is equal to username and value equal to username and we have to write one more input field input type is equal to text and placeholder is equal to age and value is also is equal to age now we have to create all these name username age variables using the react hooks first we will create the name const curly brackets so the first one is name and we have to write the set name method to change it equal to we have to initialize it with empty string use state empty string in the similar way we have to create username and age const username and set username and we have to initialize it with the empty string only you state empty string const now we have to write age age set age equal to you state here the value is integer that's why i'm not mentioning any string so the age must be integer only now let's press control s so now we have to write the on change event for all the input fields because whenever the on change event occurs we have to update this input value using the set methods of these respective variables so i will write on change event for the first input field which is name on change equal to in this curly braces you have to write the arrow function first we have to write the parenthesis followed by the arrow parameter or arrow, arrow symbol afterwards you have to write the curly braces so in this parenthesis we have to write the event because we want the value of this input field that's why we need to write the event as the parameter now we have to update this set name using this e we will get the input field value by e dot target dot value e dot target dot value in the similar way we have to write these things to the username and also to the age so i will write on change equal to in this we have to write the arrow functions first we have to accept the event as the parameter in the arrow functions i will write set username e dot target dot value in the similar way we have to write to the age also on change equal to in the curly braces you have to write the arrow function so this parenthesis you have to write the event and here i will write the set age in this i will write the e dot target dot value here you can see all the errors has gone now we have to write the one button which is used for submitting this form or we can simply write the input with type button also type submit also so here i will write the input here the type is equal to submit and i will write the value as submit only let's see the output 
here you can see we got three input fields with the values name username and age now we need to add this button at the bottom of the age i will use br tag after the input field br now we got the button down now after clicking this button we have to print all these values name value username value age value in the console with the help of object it should show name is equal to something username is equal to something age is equal to something after clicking this button so we have to write the on submit event for the form so whenever you submit the form we have to print all the input fields values in the console first i will write the on submit event for the form on submit after submitting we have to execute one function so i will write the function name as print values i will write this function in here function print values in this i will write the code for printing the input field values in the console first i will create one object where user here the user is an object in this object i will write the key value pairs first i will write the key as name and i will initialize this as name only because here the name variable is present that's why i will use name afterwards we have to use the second key username username and the value is also username here we are directly accessing the hooks using the react hooks the third key is age and here i will write the age as age only so here we have created the user object successfully now we need to print this user object in the console so i will write simply console sorry console dot log i'll write user that's it our program is completed so before submitting the form we have to write the event dot prevent default for the on submit event because whenever you submit the event it will reload if you do not write the event dot prevent default so we have to write the event dot prevent default in the print values function so here i will write the event afterwards i will write the event dot prevent default that's it let's see the output so first i will write the value as john and i will write the username as john 1952 and i will write the john age as 26 so i'll click the submit button and we will move into the console here i have entered the submit button now we will move into the console to check whether the values is printed or not here in the console we got an object if you observe here we got an object if you expand this object we got the values age is equal to 26 name is equal to john and the username is equal to john 1952 so if you change values also it will work so here i will change the values from john to messi i will change the username from john 1952 to messi 887 once again i will click the submit button here you can see again we got the console object if you expand it we got it age is equal to 26 name is equal to messi and the username is equal to messi 887 like this way we can submit form in the react once again i will explain all the things here we have created two three hooks with the values name username age and we have created three input fields with the same only name username and age so for every on change event we are updating the set method using the on change event with the help of hooks so after on submit we have to execute this function the function name is print values here we we, we have taken the all the input field values using an object that object name is user so we have printed the entire user object in the console thank you